That was most uncomfortable. Upon my word. Gandalf spoke true, as usual. A fine burglar you are. <laughs> I am at your service. Now to open this cell. That was most... The rest of the dwarves are waiting above. After you, King Thorin Oakenshield. Good work, Mr. Baggins. I suspect I'll be bruised and battered to pieces. Get moving, burglar! We continue to Lake Town! Dwarves are all packed and ready to go. Now, open the gate and escape. A king in a barrel? Bah. Oh, I feel like a pickled fish. This is no fun, Baggins. The smell is starting to get to me. Hey, Bilbo! Any snacks for our long voyage, eh? <coughs> Dwarves in barrels. Ridiculous. <sighs> Too much dwarf and not enough barrel. Well, well, well. The barrel is quite comfortable after all. In a barrel? Yeah. I do hope I put the lids on tight. Oh! Off we go! Yeah. 
Dwarves were not meant for this sort of travel. I can hardly breathe in here. Wait for me! The Beryls floated down Long Lake and carried Bilbo and the Dwarves to the safety of Lake Town. In the shadow of the Dragon's Lair, Thorin declared himself King Under the Mountain. The people of Lake Town held a great feast for the Dwarves. Their old prophecies said gold would flow from Lonely Mountain when the King returned. And while the Dwarves feasted, Bilbo had the run of the town. Welcome to Lake Town. After a few days rest, we'll be ready to head up to the Lonely Mountain. Go find the master of Lake Town and send him thanks for his hospitality. He'll be by the Great Hall. You should speak with the master of Lake Town. His hospitality is exceptional. These people treat us like kings. It feels good to be a legend. These people treat You must be the expert treasure hunter who travels with the dwarves. You certainly are a curious looking creature. Well, I could say the same of you. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> 